This looks like fun. That's right. He completely overkilled that bird with radiant power. Too easy. The tiger learned by spirit. Interior level. Major, too slow. <laughs> uh, Tear, stop this foolishness. Commandant Gramps is worried about you. You are the fools. We know about your health. Is this world really worth giving your own life to save? I'm yeah. sure you've heard the truth about Hod. Politicians controlled by the score using it for their own ends, just as Van said. Then join us. The Commandant will spare you and the other survivor of Hod. Thanks, but I'll pass on a world replaced entirely with replicas. What's wrong with the land and people we have now? They will never escape the curse of Yulia's score. In time, you'll come to understand just how accurate Yulia's score is. The score is stronger than a few disturbances. History will proceed as the Seventh Bone Stone shows. The seventh phone stone. Has Van found it? No, Tear. That was it. That thing was the seventh phone stone. Wait. Apparently, she didn't come here to fight. Guy, where did you see the seventh phone stone? In Hod. When I was a kid, Van took me to see it once. In 
Hog? That's the first I've heard of that. Vance said it was in a secret place. Its location passed down within the Fende family. Fende was one of the seven sages who served Yulia. Yulia's children carried on her phonic hymns and abilities from one generation to the next. You're one of Yulia's descendants yourself, are you not? Well, that's what Van told me. I don't have any proof, though. But you can sing those phonic hymns! And only a descendant of Yulia would be guarding the seventh phone stone. The seventh phone stone disappeared into the core along with Hod. That light we saw when going into the core, that was the seventh phone stone. I'm sure of it. If the seventh phone stone was in Hod, then when Hod was destroyed, it could have sunk into the liquefied land, but... Then Master Van knows the future written on the seventh phone stone? Could we actually be doing something bad? The Outer Lands will fall regardless. It's better to lower them slowly so people don't get hurt. Yeah, you're right. I'm just worried about everything we don't know. seriously grateful. If you hadn't thought of Fomacry, I'd never have been born. Though I probably wasn't meant to be. Luke, you said you weren't going to talk like that anymore. Yeah, stop putting yourself down. Yeah, stop, Master! All right, all right. Right around here. Wow! I didn't expect to see foam machines like these in a place like this! Why the hell do you sound so happy? Living in Kim Laska opened my eyes to the wonders of phonic technology. <laughs> Dawn Age phone machines were built so well. Men really like this sort of thing, don't they? My papa likes building models too. He's like a little kid. Whatever. Women just don't get it. Come on, let's go! Let's go! Jesus you should have God. become a phonic technician instead of a swordsman. Yeah, maybe he wouldn't bear a fit for that. Don't get me wrong, he's a good warrior, but... Who knows? I don't know. I'll be right back.
Let's do it. This isn't a combat machine, Tyr. It's probably here to maintain the phone machinery. Oh, whoops. It's my Xbox controller. You mean he's the one who maintains the passage ring? Well, the passage rings throughout the world are all connected. Maybe when there's a serious problem, this guy heads out to fix it. But the passage rings wound up breaking anyway. Well, yeah. If the Sephiroth going out of control had been written in the score, then perhaps this mechanical doll was programmed with how to deal with it. It looks like the passage ring is down below. The elevator's not working. The power's out. Are you serious? Are there any stairs or anything? I don't see any. Then I guess Guy or Jade will have to work their magic. I'm sorry, I'm afraid my specialty is phonic arts. I'll pass. But you made phonicry. I just developed the theory. It was Dist who built the phone machinery. You look concerned. We need to replace the broken power supply with a new one, but... There's no replacement. Except for him. If we take his power supply and attach it here, it'll probably work. What? If you take his power supply, he'll stop working! Yeah, but that's the only way. But he's working so hard! I feel sorry for him! We don't have a choice. There's no other way. Oh, let's kill him. So you want to fight? Take it! 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 Take this is art right off the bat. Now die! Come on already. Oh, okay. Let's use. Let's use the magic lens on it. Let's speak to water and grass. Alright, drink all the crowns of the mighty. Right here, Tommy! 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 Right here, Tommy!
Your turn, guy. Right. Luke. I know. I'm coming. Go down. Going down to the ground. Yo, oh, we are beyond the ground. Dear, please put this on your arm. What is it? A blood phonon meter. I want to confirm whether the passage rings really are the cause. I see. Now, please activate it. Measurement will occur automatically. Luke, please operate it as you did in Tataru Valley. Okay. Done. Looks like the measurement is complete as well. May I have that back? How's the miasma reading, Colonel? An abnormal level of miasma is flowing into Tyr from the passage ring. It's probably responding to Tyr's genetic data. I don't think there's any doubt that she's a descendant of Yulia. Yulia must have entered her own data into this device. Why are the seventh phonons contaminated with the miasma? The miasma seems to come from inside the planet. Perhaps the core is contaminated. So the center of the entire planet is contaminated. Can we really neutralize all that? Actually, if the core is the source, then we can probably find a solution. Wait, what? We can do something about the miasma? Yes, if we use the planet's gravity. I'm not an expert, so I can't promise anything. But at least there's a chance. Yes, and Belkind has done a lot of research on gravity. They should prove more useful than I am. Then let's get back to Belkind. Tyr, what is it? Feeling sick again? What? Oh, no, it's nothing. Let's go. Alright, let's go. I'm going all the way up!
Guess we're going to the balcony. Oh, wow, thanks. Busy. I start thinking about Eamon and the others. So I made the Albior 2. Uh, wait. We broke the first one. The Albior 3. Anyway, I made it. And then it crashed again? <laughs> oh, listen here, little lady. I was in the middle of a test flight when I saw you people and. Spinoza! Spinoza! Eavesdropping again? You're such a creep. Stop! Let's follow him!
Obior 3 spotted, but it's behaving strangely. What's wrong? It's smoking and... Oh! I wonder if he's alive. My back. Ah, my back! The Albior 3 oh. is a sturdy craft. A mere crash okay. isn't going to hurt its passengers. The monsters here would be rough on an elderly man. <laughs> okay, to Belkin. Is. Let's go! Get him! Y yes master! That's as far as you go. We have a lot to talk about. You're coming with us. Just what did you plan to do after eavesdropping on us? Were you going to report to Master Van again? No. Please, everyone. We won't learn anything by shouting at him. Why were you in the Mejioral Highlands? I... 